Two top teams in Group C. Game day number five. It is Red Bull Munich taking on Tapera Tempera. Here in Munich, Germany. Opening period. It is Justin Schultz that had the early attempt, but Vilo Heikkinen is up to the challenge as he slams the door on Schutz to keep it scoreless. And then Munich from the right circle fires one that goes off the glove that time of Heikkinen, and we're still scoreless. It is Tapera that is able to crack the scoreboard first as Yoni Tulala scores his first CHL goal of the season to give Tapera a 1-0 lead in the first period. As the puck popped out to Yoni, and he was able to bury it. But late stages, first period, able to answer Andreas Adar. Scores his second CHL goal of the season. The tie-in at one goal apiece late in the first period as he beats Heikkinen, glove side. We go to the second period. Cross ice pass and trying to get it past Heikkinen was Yassine Elitz. After a beautiful feed from Ortega, Elitz just unable to bury it. Later in the second period, a little tic-tac-toe passing and the youngster, Julian Lutz, able to bury it for his first CHL goal of the season after he got the feed from Ben Smith. So it's two to one, and we're talking early in the third period here, 15 seconds in. Red Bull Munich, the leading scorer for Red Bull Munich, Ben Street, scores his seventh goal in the CHL season. He is also the leading scorer in the CHL in terms of goals scored. So it's a two goal lead for Red Bull Munich, but it doesn't last too long as Casimir Jurgens fires one on net and it's tipped out in front by Patrick Vierta to make it three to two. And then just a few short moments later, Tapera able to answer and get the equalizer as Yuri Henriksen scores his third goal of the CHL season as Henriksen initially had to go off the leg pad of Nita Berger. And then Niederberger kicked it in. Overtime, late stages. Red Bull Munich had an opportunity with nine seconds remaining in overtime as Ben Street had this one go high and wide. It may have just gone off the top of the crossbar as well. We go to a shootout. Munich with an opportunity here as Frederick Tiefels is stopped that time by Heikkinen. And so it comes down to the final shooter. Weaving his way in, Nico Oyamaki with the game-winning goal in the shootout as Tapera comes back from a two-goal deficit, survives overtime, and wins in a shootout to capture first place as of now in Group C with the shootout victory.